Back. Americans bought more than 16 and a half million guns. June is Gun Violence Awareness Month. The U.S. is one of the leading countries for gun violence. Now, if you own a gun, or plan to purchase one. Make sure that you have proper safety precautions in place, especially if you have kids or ever have them in your home. In 2022, more than 20,000 people died from firearm deaths, and that's excluding suicides. 1,676 were children. Washington University pediatrician at St. Louis Children's Hospital, Lindsay Klukies, says it's becoming all too common to see kids with bullet wounds. We see sometimes multiple kids every week, um, sometimes more than one in a day. It's up to us to put a barrier between a child and a firearm. That's why they spearheaded a program called No Questions Asked in their level one trauma hospital. It's a very simple concept. We put a basket of free gun locks in our triage waiting room. According to a report by the CDC, 85% of unintentional firearm deaths among children could have been prevented if the firearm had been stored with a gun lock. The National Shooting Sports Foundation also recommends using gun locks. They offer free gun locks to gun owners nationwide through their Project Child Safe program. To find out how to get a free gun lock in your neighborhood, go to projectchildsafe.org. I always say that the scream of a, of a parent or a guardian or a, a caregiver, um, once we tell them that their child is shot and not survived, is something that I, I can't describe. It's something that I'll never forget. Wow, you, you don't even have to hear it to get the chills to imagine what that must feel like to experience that. The National Shooting Sports Foundation also recommends using gun locks, offering free gun locks to owners nationwide through its Project Child Safe program. You can request a free gun lock there online by using the link on your screen. That is projectchildsafe.org.